Hi, this is Mike from GetVoip.com, and today I'm going to show you a little trick to import your contacts. It's in Xtiva's Compilot and Call Manager. So as usual, we're going to start by logging in. I'm going to start with CP1 Nextiva so I can get into the admin portal. And we're back here to this familiar screen that we all know and love. So you're going to start by clicking Outgoing Calls and Personal Phone List. Okay, so you see at the moment I have no entries in my phone list. So I'm going to want to add them. Actually, now that I think about it, I don't want to add them. It's going to be really time consuming to sit here and enter every name and every phone number. So there's got to be a better way, right? Well, look, you can import a phone list. Okay, so you'll see for details about the CSV file, click for the help link on this page. So let's go ahead and do that right now. Okay, so here it is, the personal phone list import green help screen. And you're going to see you need a CSV file. CSV stands for comma separated value. CSV files can be made using Outlook, Microsoft Word, Microsoft Excel, or other programs such as the Notepad, which I'm about to do. But first, I'll show you the stop sign that I ran into. Okay, so we'll get back to the personal phone list import. Now here's a sheet I was making in Excel just a back reference here to that help screen you see that you have name number and then the values which are separated by a comma which is taken over more or less by the the outlook screen separating these into quadrants and different rows and I'm sorry so you're gonna see on the left side you have the name and the number which is more or less the protocol that I followed here so I'm gonna go ahead and save it Let's save it right to my desktop so I can grab it. And we'll call this Nextiva Contacts. And I'm going to save it as a CSV file. So get down here, comma delimited. There we go. Save. OK. And you're going to get this message pretty much every time. So let me go back in to my Nextiva portal and choose the file that I just saved. So here it is, Nextiva Contact CSV. Okay, hit apply. And it failed to import the phone list. You get an error detail there was an invalid phone number somewhere in there. Alright, I'm not too concerned with that. So the next route you're going to want to take is to basically copy all of this open up a plain text program I'm using notepad and paste it right in there now you're going to notice by default there's a little indent between everything so what you're going to want to do is bring it back and add a comma and you're going to want to repeat this for each of your entries it may seem time consuming but it's a lot easier than adding your contacts one by one okay so you'll notice that I brought everything back and I added a comma between them the numbers, of course, here are as fake as the entities which they belong to, at least I hope so. And we're going to go ahead and click Save As. And we'll call this file Nextiva Contacts. Rev for revised. And we'll go ahead and click Save. Okay, so it's been saved. Now the next thing you're going to want to do is go to that file that you just made, which is right on my desktop, access the properties of the file, and you're going to manually change the extension, CSV. Do you want to change it? Of course you do. Okay, so Nextiva Contacts Revised is now ready to go. And we're going to try this once again. So you see this is the file that I just made. You have your contacts, which is the old CSV file. And you have the forced CSV file, which you just created off of the plain text sheet. So you're going to open that. Click Apply. And you'll see that it was saved. It was a success. Okay, so we can launch my call manager. Just let that load for a second there. 
All right, so the coal manager is up, and it's good. All of my fictional and folkloric contacts appear in my address book, and I am all set. So now that I've got that done, I'm going to lunch. This has been Mike from GetVoip.com.